Breaking news on several fronts as we come on the air. The deadly tornado disaster. At least. Decision 2020, Super Tuesday. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, everyone, on this Super Tuesday, a sudden and dramatic realignment of the Democratic presidential race playing out right now as voters go to the polls in 14 states and one U.S. territory. The political drama taking place against the backdrop of a rising coronavirus death toll in this country and a deadly tornado disaster in Tennessee, where at least 25 have died in downtown Nashville. Our Katie Beck is there, and that's where we begin tonight. Right now with the latest. Thank you. Let's turn now to the biggest night of the Democratic primary season so far. Super Tuesday with elections in 14 states and one U.S. territory. Thanks. Let's bring in Chuck Todd and Andrea Mitchell. I'm always anxious to know what you guys are thinking, what you're watching tonight, Chuck. Well, look, obviously Biden v. Uh, 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 Bernie feels like this is where we're headed. 24 hours in American politics with all of these endorsements surrounding Biden, Biden surging. And then we have a real face. -off. We're going to watch it in real time. You guys don't go far. Our special coverage of Super Tuesday results starts at 8 Eastern. We hope you'll join us. Now, the other major story we're following tonight, the coronavirus emergency, the death toll in the U.S. rising to nine, all of them in Washington state as new cases. Of now to that surprise from the Fed today, slashing interest rates to combat the economic toll from the coronavirus. Our own internal travel policies. Lester. All right, Hallie Jackson at the White House tonight. Thank you. And with cases of the coronavirus now popping up all across the country, we want to take a closer look at what's being done to prepare for the virus. Officials, as you keep hearing, urging caution over panic. Let's get more from Tom Costello. We're back now with a new warning from the World Health Organization this evening. The death rate from the coronavirus is rising, at least among known cases, as cases rapidly spread around the world. Our Richard Engel is in London. All right, let me bring in our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres, for one of the questions that's been gnawing at me is why aren't we seeing the sickness in children on the scale we've seen in adults. And Lester, studies from China have shown that children account for less than 3%. Thanks. We look forward to sharing their data tonight as we go along. That's Nightly News. We're back on the air for special coverage starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. We hope you will join us. For now, I'm Lester Holt, NBC News, New York. Good night.